which of the following is quadratic? A truck rental rate at $65 per day with a one-time $20 insurance fee or the area of a square garden measuring two feet with a brick border of the width of X feet. In this lesson, you will learn what linear and quadratic expressions are by learning the differences between them. Let's review. What's a linear expression? It contains a variable such as X and a mathematical operation such as an addition sign. It also describes constant rates. And here are some examples. What's a quadratic expression? It consists of an x squared. It's typically used in projectile function type word problems or rates or area calculation type word problems. And here are some examples. A common misunderstanding is between expressions and equations. Is 2x plus 5 the same as 2x plus 5 is equal to 10? Just remember, expressions don't have equal signs. Equations do. Expressions represent variables that can only be evaluated if the value of that variable is known. Equations, um, you can actually manipulate some of the numbers there to solve for that unknown variable. Which is linear or quadratic? Again, we have our two examples. Let's take a look at the first one truck rental rate at $65 per day with a one-time $20 insurance fee. What's the rate? Well, it's $65 per day. What's the one-time fee? That's $20. So what does X represent? It represents the number of days that we are going to rent that truck for. So how would you express the total fee or your total cost? 65x plus 20. And that is a linear expression. All right, so how do you find the area of a square? We can do S squared or length times width. Again, we're just uh, going to multiply the two sides together. And for a square, we know that both sides are going to be the exact same. How would you represent the area? Well, X is the width of the break border. We don't know exactly what that number is, but we know it's X. So the length of that is going to be X plus X because we have to take into account um, the left and the right side of the brick border. Um, that'll be 2x plus 2. And the same thing goes for the width. So how would you express the total area? Um, because the length and the width are the exact same, we're going to multiply them together. So it's 2x plus 2 times 2x plus 2. Or a shortened way of write, writing that is 2x plus 2 to the second power. And that is a quadratic. All right, so let's do some comparisons. Uh, 65x plus 20, that is a linear expression, as our truck example. The constant rate here is $65 per day. The variable is x. It represents the number of days for that rental. And if you remember that $20, that 20 represents that $20 for that um, insurance fee. And our garden um, example was 2x plus 2, the whole quantity squared. 
And if we multiply that together, our area is going to be 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. Now we can actually use the box method or foil method or some sort of distribution method to solve, uh, to uh, come up with that. And then the variable here is x. So let's identify the following as a linear or quadratic expression. The 7x is linear. The quadratic is 8x squared. A quadratic will always have an x squared in it. Now, it can also have other numbers following it, but it will always have that x squared in it. Linear x, 7x minus 3y, um, again, it's the x and the y that both are variables, um, but it's not taken to any specific power, it's just to the power of 1. And quadratic is 8x squared minus 2. Now let's take a look at that last one, 4x and 2x. Now, if you take the 4x by itself or the 2x by itself, they both are linears. But if you took them together, the 4x times the 2x, that's going to give you 8x squared. That would be considered quadratic. In this lesson, you have learned what linear and quadratic expressions are by learning to tell the differences between them.